got something good for me? Is it a dress? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Doc's inside the lodge. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. 
Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand, fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it, eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. All right. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. See you. Another human. What was enough? I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. If we must. Yes, yes.
So, you're back. Now, where did we... Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family. And I've got other dogs to take care of. Here, Ray! Mama's got something for you. 